Asher is entitled Tchela number 47, The Development of Two Different Misarot Regarding Tchela in America, Lakewood, specifically in Eretz Yisrael. So Baruch Hashem, we're witnessing the renaissance of a mitzvah. A mitzvah that's been gone for 1,300 years, gone from about 700 or so in the common era, making a comeback in the year 2000, give or take a few years, 1980, whatever it may be. And to watch a mitzvah make a comeback is incredible. And Yetzirah of a Sanhedrin, that we have sock exactly how it should be done, that all of Kaiser will be doing one way. Until that happens, we are watching not only the Renaissance of the Mitzvah, but we are watching two different Mitzvahs at least develop over here. And we look back at different Mitzvahs regarding whether one hour, six hours, Rabbeinu Tom Tfilin, those who put on, those who don't put on, and uh, making a bracha as man grum, a woman does what a woman does, and halil with a bracha, without a bracha, different Mitzvahs develop over the thousands of years of our Mitzvah, we're watching one develop now. It's how exciting is that? So yes, we have the Sanhedrin, but we don't have a Sanhedrin. So we have his Gedol and Poskin working through the Sugya and Poskining and different communities going different ways. So in Lakewood, from what I understand, most people are going ahead and wearing tailored according to toast vote, meaning four blue strings and four white strings. While in Eretz Israel, Many are wearing, like, the rivet and the gra, two blue strings. How did that develop? So it's an amazing discussion how it developed. But uh, in, in just a quick version, it seems that what's going on in Lakewood, they naturally have an affinity to Tosfos. Ashkenazic Psak, we go back to Tosfos, and especially here, many, many we show them go like Tosfos. And therefore, that's the natural connection to where go like Tosas and wear four blue strings and four white strings. And that's what's going on there for many, many people, from what I have heard. While here in Israel, the Zoomans already for decades, the whole Zooman community has been wearing, and they follow the grow. In general, they follow the grow. So here, too, they're going to follow the grow. And the grow holds that there's one full string folded over is going to be two strings as opposed to the Rama it's one out of eight for the grow. Uh, it goes like the rivet, it's two out of eight. So you have many in the Zilberlin's community going like the grow with two full strings. And then you have other post come here who have independently come to the conclusion that the grow is the right one eight. The grow has more influence in areas Israel than he does in other places. Many follow the grow, the Shir Shal Yom of the grow, for example, as opposed to the states, Hotzlaretz. And also here, many hold that the grow, because he had a specific Nusach in the Sifri, where he held that both Sifris in Kitetse and in Shlach maintained that one should wear one string of blue and three of white, doubled over, it's going to be two and six. He, the Gra said that that's the Nusach in both of them, while the Tosfos' Nusach that he had was that you have four blue strings, and Gra rejects that Nusach, and he says, no, the right one is one full blue string, which of one blue string which results in two unfolded over. So because of that, many have gravitated towards the Gra's position, and here in SCR you have many going with two blue strings, while in the States it's four blue strings. What do we say about that? When do we have Sanhedrin? Until then, Eilu ve'elu divrei lokim chayim. They're both the words of God. And to watch it develop in front of our eyes. A, the renaissance of a mitzvah. And then to see the gedol and pot paskening, this community going this way, this community going that way, each one faithfully observing their poskin. To me, it's not ideal. It's ideal we'll have a Sanhedrin. But given the fact that we don't have a Sanhedrin, it's beautiful. Shalom.